don't need to tell you that the transportation world is really being uprooted and disrupted with the many innovations you see. Uh, food and grocery delivery, right? Amazon Prime Now, Instacart. There are a lot of policy related questions about whether these are actually good in terms of uh, social utility. What we do in my group and what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, using what's called computational geometry to simplify some of these problems and come up with very basic and simple insights about what affects them most significantly. Instead of looking at a road network, you might instead just say, okay, let's pretend all of my uh, locations I have to visit are, are scattered in a Euclidean plane. What you can often do in that situation then is uh, come up with very simple formulas to describe complicated uh, mathematical uh, objects. So that's the traveling salesman problem. It's the problem if you're given some points, finding the shortest path that touches all of them. If I'm delivering packages and I have a thousand customers, I'd need to solve this kind of problem with a thousand points to visit, which is uh, very expensive. So that length, as you sample many points, scales proportionally to the square root of the number of points. So that means that if my number of points increases by a factor of four, the shortest path through all of them only increases by a factor of two. This is why UPS is able to do things. They're able to leverage an economy of scale by aggregating things together and coming up with efficient tours. We can say ahead of time without solving anything roughly how costly it's going to be. Nowadays, the problems we encounter are much more sophisticated. What happens to the carbon footprint of a city when its inhabitants start shopping online? Now, conventional wisdom would dictate that it's probably more efficient for me to do that. So what happens when people start adopting these services? Well, customers drive less, the delivery trucks are driving more, but there's an economy of scale, right? They're able to aggregate uh, this path together and solve a traveling salesman problem to visit all these customers. They can leverage and they can plan in a way that these locals could not. And we'd like to know if this is always a good thing. There's an important factor about the problem that is missing here. It's much more efficient for me to trip chain, for me to do multiple errands at a time. And that's not being included in this picture here, right? This is assuming that people go to the store and back and that's it. The problem that a consumer faces is very difficult. You have to not only find the most efficient path through your store, your pharmacy, and your bank, but you have to choose which bank, which store, which pharmacy you'd like to go to. Like this nice Beardwood Halton Hammersley theorem with a nice square root, and we wanted to derive a formula akin to that for the generalized TSP. I have more choices, I can be more efficient. So it should be decreasing in K, but increasing in N. More errands means more work to do. The generalized traveling salesman tour looks like root N divided by root K. If I have two choices, of each item, and then the traveling salesman tour decreases by uh, 1 minus 71%, so whatever 1 minus 1 over root 2 is. We proved that the generalized traveling salesman tour of n uh, sets of k points each is proportional to root n divided by root k. So we uh, did some parameter estimates about what the carbon emissions are like of a truck versus a car that a person might drive, and we used this theory that we uh, that I derived here before to come up with an algebraic expression for the total uh, carbon footprint in a region. So not surprisingly, when the adoption rate is very low, of course you see emissions increase, right? Because if there's only one person who's using delivery services, it means the truck has to go all the way out to visit that one person. You do eventually get that economy of scale from these delivery services, but it might take a significant amount of adoption uh, in order to, uh, to uh, realize that.